everybody, it's me, Lunsky. This is my, um, my chance to talk about America's Got Talent, but I will also talk about my mother. And before I do talk about those two topics, I want to t- mention something. I don't know if this video will be up by then, but I have a problem going on with YouTube, and lately, um, I have problems with liking other people, other people's videos. Um, some do go through and some don't. And even if I try to re- even if I um, refresh the uh, view count, it disappears, and I don't know why. But I and I also have the problem when I'm looking at my subscriptions and when I try to tap, and it brings me somewhere else. And, uh, so I contact YouTube on that, uh, through emails, and I also send a tweet to YouTube help, to YouTube help, and I'm hoping they respond or not. But, anyway, okay, um, yeah, and I don't know if it's because of the rolling out of the, um, the new system, which is called Community, where uh, YouTubers get to use it. it. Right now, there I heard there are some, but nobody mentioned who has it. But I already just found out, um, game theorists, that their channel and their live channel they have they use for live streaming, um, has it. It. You guys don't know who the game theorists are. Um, it's a YouTube channel. Mostly, it's usually um, he's known as Matt Pat um, Matthew Patrick. Um, I will link his YouTube channel. Well, I'll, I'll put down below. Um, if you guys don't know, he talks about games. I think he also does movies too. But that's on another channel. I haven't subscribed to, so I don't know. Maybe if I could. But I don't know if YouTube will let me. <laughs> um, I think he's he's the one he's probably one that has it. Um, yeah, it's him. I think it's his wife. <sighs> don't get mad at me. Um, they talk about games and their theories and stuff. Um. Not only that, he actually did a cameo, actually he made a couple of cameo appearances for Random Encounters. Actually, I know only two. And that was the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's musical and How to Beat a Monkey in Chest. And they both, it's the funniest thing, he's in, he's in both of them. And it's the funniest thing, it starts with <sighs> YouTube's, YouTube's most favorite bit. Besides PewDiePie, <laughs> is Markiplier. It's the funniest thing to say. Things. Matt Pat's in those two, and that stars Markiplier. You know, good figure. <laughs> um, so I'm, so I'll link down Matt Pat's uh, Game and Theories channel. Actually, all three of them, and also to link the two videos that he appeared on, and. So, from random encounters. So, anyway, um, I don't know if that's the reason why, because of it. So, I'm hoping to hear from YouTube by then. So, anyway, um, alright, so let's go over with AGT and then talk about my mom. Because even though she does not like me, me talking about her, but you're bringing up a subject. That is really touchy, woman. <sighs> anyway. So. AGT was, in fact, really great. And I know that it was kind of crazy. But the three acts I did not like the most were um, Victor Cree, Sophie Dorsey's name, and Tape Face. I'm sorry, I'm, I was not, I was not in a good mood about that, I mean, I'm, I was not pleased, and I mean, but the other acts were 
not the greatest. And the one who should win it in the million dollar contract is John Dorables. And here's the reason why. I know there's a lot of people who have supports from fans and stuff, but not only have three three sports teams, and not namelessly three Philadelphia sports teams. The Philadelphia Eagles, who just won their first, just won their op- their opener. Or, <laughs> so, that's a good thing. Uh, the Philadelphia Flyers and the Philadelphia Phillies, who just ended another game, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't know how they did. I'll have to look into it. So... And, I mean, let's face it, I mean, but there's, and of course we have the singers, like, um, bring Justin Crumb, um, Lincoln Bridge, uh, Grace Vanderwall, and, uh, Lauren Britton. I mean, they're, they were, they sing so great. And I just wish they got contracts from, I guess, from Simon Cow. you know? Because I heard that he has a music company. <laughs> or something like that. Anyway. Uh, let's see what else. <laughs> I did enjoy the clairvoyance. But you know. When it comes to. But I think even though what they did was good. But John Dornbos really nailed it. <laughs> yes. Everybody's. Eh, shoot. It's not good. I'm about to lose battery in it. Yeah, I mean, John Dornbos nailed it. And please don't get mad. Everybody's saying this, and I know oh, there's one person who really, who I think really started all, but he won't like it. <laughs> Sorry, Grim. <laughs> anyway. So... Yeah, so, yeah. Alright, so now let's talk about my mother. And if you're watching this, Mom, you're gonna regret doing this, but... What happened was, I was... We were watching ADT, and we saw Nick Cannon, and Nick had a main bun, and I was like, right up here on his head. Well, my mom got mad. She was like, Oh, look at Nick Cannon with a man bun. I hate man buns. Even men with long hair, is it hipsy, hippy or not? Mm-hmm. This is not slander because this is her way of how she's gone do this to me. I'm pretty sure she'll try to slander me. I mean, but get angry. Hmm. And so, anyway, so what she said, she's like, doesn't like men with long hair. And I'm like, I know somebody with long hair. Chris Hero, my favorite wrestler. And it proves to tell me that she hates him. And all because she saw Nick Cannon with a man bun. I mean, I have no problem with that. But there are people who would. But they tried to do whatever they could. Like, unless somebody who can talk about that and could get away with it is James Cole. I know he actually, I don't know if he, I don't remember if he did, but I think he did. I may have to go into his YouTube channel to look for it. Anyway, so my mother gets, so my mother tells me that, and I'm having, in my, the pit of my stomach, I'm thinking, why? Why would you say that? And because she probably think that they're totally disgusting. And what the heck? I just watched Nick Cannon, and he doesn't look disgusting. And not to mention, even especially with Chris Hero. I mean... I mean, that man's really grown his hair out long. If you look at some of the older promos he had, his either hair... I, I think especially, I think the ones from his time in ROH... I know he has it, like, from here. And he could have it long. I mean, it really is long. See, this is my hair. You see? And, you know, even though I know that Bray did it. And, and Chris has his hair long, too. 
And and for somebody to say that, I mean, that actually sounds like you discriminate somebody because they have long hair. <sighs> She's luckily she did not do what my father done, which will begin to cause her to be a racist, like she already is. It's because we're talking about people who are completely from an eight of the Asian kind. I know I shouldn't say that. I'm being Shh, because oi. I think because this happened was last weekend last Friday we were coming home from China Buffet she saw a car that is Subaru and she thought it was Chinese. <gasps> Then I got mad at her and she said, Orient. Not even close. First of all, it's not Chinese, it's Japanese. It's, it's a Japanese auto, it's a Japanese car company. This manufactures cars. First. And second of all, you're not supposed to say that. That's actually kind of, you're not supposed to say that at all. It's like how my father did when when I was getting when I had to go seek therapy because of my back and the, even though the doctors told us to go to the seek therapy out in from the township and there was a secretary she was very nice and her skin was you know darker than mine <coughs> Oh, excuse me again. This is the second time I'm working. This is my dinner, okay? Don't get mad. Anyway. <laughs> so, my father says the N-word. I'm like, oh my god. You're not supposed to say that. I'm like, jeez, old man. And he just said it right in there. I did not want to say anything. So, when I told my mother about this, when I saw her... And she got, she got mad. I mean, between my father and my mother, I don't know who's worse. But I'm thinking it's my father. Then again, I could be wrong. Oh. But yeah, my father just said that right out of the blue. He said the end word. I'm like, you're not supposed to say that to your daughter. I should have yelled at him that day. But I just really wouldn't go in because I was so humiliated. He just said that. I just really wanted to get in so I can get my therapy done. I had to go get physical therapy. And I felt humiliated. And even though, oh, right now I'm trying to work on my arms and I may have to go see a therapist again because I think because I hurt my arm I mean hurt my arm you see I um hurt this right here I can feel the pain still because I we hurt it again I hurt this and it's been bothering me since December or like a like days before Christmas and actually Christmas birthday which is Christmas Eve so anyway I'm trying to be, and I don't know if I'm going to go see a doctor, and then they'll tell me I have to do physical therapy or not, because how away my mother is. The only thing was going on was my right foot, because after all, I didn't know what was going on, and, and, and when I heard somebody downstairs, and it was my mother, and because of that, I, I left an eight-pound, and, uh, wait, eight next to me because I use it to work on my arms fell and hit my foot my right foot <laughs> you know I'm starting to even though it didn't bother me at first until hours later it started to hurt yay I broke my right foot this time <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry I you know I'm not supposed to laugh at this but how I'm saying this is making me laugh <laughs> oh Lindsay you silly girl. So anyway, I'm not sure if I'm going to go get seeing both my left bicep and my right foot checked up because of the way how my mother is. 
And because of that, I think it's because the because the crappy insurance that we had to change. Thanks, Dad. You know it's supposed to be for old people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't see nobody else use Blue Cross Blue Shield ever, except for old people. Well, that is the way it has been advertised. It's like the Skechers thing. I have seen no adult wear Skechers. The commercial, there are people who does. Never seen it on any adult. I've probably seen it on kids and teenagers as what has been tempted to target it. But this is happens when you're dealing with false advertisement. And then people suck it in. So, anyway, back to what I was talking about. So, about the situation about the man bun. And the men with long hair. And I'm thinking, really? So, because I'm thinking that, it hurts my stomach. hurts my heart. And I just... It's because there's somebody I like. And I know it's Chris. <laughs> and... I just don't want to give up something. Because of my mother's foolishness. And believe me. I wouldn't. Now let's suffer changes. Like, oh, look at Lindsay. She likes somebody else. No. No matter what. I just hurt. She hurts me. It's not because... So many people will say, Lindsay, you're a female. She's not I mean, it's about you. It doesn't matter. When you care about somebody. And somebody hates that person. <laughs> you can't. I'm just feeling like this is going to be like those episodes of American Dad. You guys are probably looking at me thinking, why are you talking about American Dad? I'm like, I know I mentioned about Seth MacFarlane's show, but... <sighs> if you guys don't know, um, most, of this, most of the seasons um, of it... I never end up focusing on somebody in the family. Mostly, it could be about Stan, but some, even it could also focus on Haley, which um, Stan is really having a hard time in understanding about his daughter, and even though, though um, his uh, wife Francine does not have anything much to say because he, she knows that her daughter's is older and she could do whatever she wants to, but Stan feels like it's his way. Hey. And the one thing happens is that Haley's always in the relationship. She, the one she ended up married to, Jeff Fisher, and what happened was Stan hates it and until the Christmas episode where, um, where, uh, Dan gets Steve to uh, do some shooting, and they found a snowman, and they shot it, and then inside of it was uh, was Santa Claus, and they thought it was a uh, mall Santa, but it turns out to be the real Santa, who ends up recovering, and on top of that, he goes after the family, and they all have to escape. And despite of what happened with uh, with what happened, especially when Haley had to tell Jeff because she, she loves him and they're married, and 
he ends up going to them, and even though it calls out a war, even though he brought calls to Santa to bring out, then the cause of war against Santa Claus, which prompts the the, the whole entire Smith clan to go after them, uh, after Santa Claus and his elves. And during that time, when Stan got hurt, Jeff protected him and and took care of him. And Stan realized that he's not that bad. So, because of that, I mean, but I don't think this will happen. If there's anybody why my mother would say that, she, I think she just want to hurt me. And... Anyway, so, I'm going to, so that's what it is. So, tomorrow I'll be working on poetry. I'll be trying to play some games, including trying to read film about the Project Murphy, because it got a little out of control, and because Project Murphy actually acted like, a racist. If you don't know what I'm talking about, even though I have to delete the video, what happened was I went to try to do something, especially with some wrestlers, especially one of them who's also a YouTuber, or, or Austin Creed, or you can refer to him by his name, Xavier Woods. And what happened was I tried it out, and I think it got a little bit out of control. So, because of that, I had no choice but to remove that video because I'm afraid that it could get, that somebody would read it and go crazy, watch it and it could go crazy, you know, and I could get in trouble. I am not that way, but, I mean, seriously. Uh, excuse me. So, I'm going to be working on that and stuff, but anyway. Excuse me. Alright, so I'm going to end this video right now, but before I do, if anybody who is watching this and who's attending the next AAW show, which is this Friday, um, and if you guys run into Chris, tell him this. Tell him that you just watched me and you tell, them, tell him that Lindsay's very upset and fearing that her mother doesn't like him. Even she would try to tell him. I mean, tell her. <sighs> Screw things up. And despite it, if it all it means, I mean, my mother doesn't get it. When you target somebody, you're just doing this on purpose. And anyway. I'm just hoping that by the end of this weekend, I'm hoping things will change. But until then, I'm going to put this video up. Alright. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Stay cool, YouTube fam.